Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We're here in Kuwagaku. Just finished up with the challenge tomb a little bit further away, but I figured we're going to load in anyway. Might as well show you guys the loading screen, because those things can be a little bit rough. I don't think we have anything in our inventory to do here, right? We do have upgrades available for a recurve. Okay, let's try them out. Let's see what we got. We did damage a lot, so... Yeah. Okay, we have to up Upgrade the wrap, right, okay. Better handle the bow and faster draw speed. Not adverse to that. Increase finger tension line for additional hold time. You know what? Additional hold time sounds great. You got me on that for sure. Let's do it. Let's do this one too. Okay, so what about this one? This is string knock. Faster fire rate. I don't know if we actually need that. That's like most of our salvage. That's all of our cloth. This one we can do... We have tons of stuff for this. So you know what? Go for it. Okay. So increased hold time is done. Suppose we just pick here, right? Yeah, because it looks like both of these require oil or fat or whatever the heck that drop is. And this is going to be, yeah, it's going to use up more than, we can't do both. Um, faster fire rate or drawing smoother and faster. Out of those, I think I'm going to go for this. I think I'm going to go for the wax string. All right. Handgun has some upgrades available. I don't know if I can do any of these. Oh, yeah, I can. This one right here. Hollowed hammer. High rate of fire. Sure, why not? And can't do anything else because I don't use it locked. Rifles. We can totally upgrade our rifles, maybe. Oh, yeah. There we go. Increase rate of fire or faster reloading. I'd rather have faster reloading, I think. Let's go faster reload. Not exactly sure how the barrel shroud helps me there. Protects the user from a heated barrel along with faster reloading. Okay. Somehow that works. All right. Sure. Why not? Um, no upgrades for these. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Um, hold on. We can go back to the inventory. Is there anything else we want to do here? I mean, I'd love to do more lower body stuff here. Tactical adventure versus boots the empress. Now this gives me quiet movement. This gives me nothing. And perception duration still keeps on. That's good. That's the upper body thing though. That's not going to be much different. Um, yeah, we can do the Evening Star Boots eventually. We need 8 cloth. We can totally do that. We can totally get 8 cloth somewhere. I don't know where. But that would probably be also feather-like. So I'm for it. Right now, this is giving me quiet movement. So we'll keep that for now. I'm not wild about the not-quite-leather on her legs there, but we'll do what we can. All right, so let's move on. So where are we going? We are going, well, to the marker here, I guess. Okay, so the tomb has been done. So, okay, but well, there's also survival caches here. Survival caches could have the cloth that I need. Let's mark that and see what we can go. So give me a pulse here and... All right, so it looks like it's over that direction. Let's see what we can get. Pop this. There you go. That's uh, some salvage. I guess that's good, too. Can we... Oh, we can totally hop. Okay, that could have killed me, but it didn't. Oh, that's like going to be the easiest survival cache in the world. I'm purposely splashing to make it look like you're... Oh, wait, hold up. Is that it here? That was totally it. There you go. Survival cache, and we did not get any cloth there. Figures. All right. There's another survival cache over here. Not, how did I figure this out? I think... I think I found a... I want to say a journal or something like that to... Not a journal. Um, a knapsack. Jur uh, survival knapsack, that's what it was. Um, Alright, go back around this way. It's being peculiar. There we go. Let's throw one over there. Just balance along here, Lara. Oh, yeah. A little bit of balance. It's 
funny they didn't put more slats there. Oh, there's someone down there. I'll totally grab that. Um, uh, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Oh, these are always going to be just salvage. Okay. No, I guess that makes sense. I mean, that's... That's what it was in the first game, I think. Oh, that's just something down there. Okay. And after this, we can try to look at the eagle thing and see what that means. Eagle versus condor, whatever the heck that was. But, I don't know. I didn't see a way up there, so I'm not sure we can do anything about it. Also, no cloth. Okay. I don't know where the hell we're going to get the cloth, but sure. So, I mean, the market could maybe sell cloth. If I really wanted it. That's tempting. That's really tempting. I do have some cash. And the cash is theoretically infinite, right? I mean, infinitely sourced. We don't have infinite cash right now. But, yeah, we could theoretically get infinite if we're willing to give up some time. Really is all it is. Are you willing to give up the time required to pick up all this stuff? We could maybe do that. Um, do I want to talk to you? I already talked to you. Yeah, I talked to you ages ago. You are not the market, right? You are definitely not the market. Okay. I was wondering what was happening there. Didn't didn't remember it being pink before, but I suppose anything's possible. No, this is it up here. Excuse me, kiddo. Up we go. All right. Here we go. So, market. Tengo algunas cosas para comerciar. How are things? Ve algo que le guste? Well, let's see here. Um, no. No, actually, you don't have any cloth, so I'm mad. Not really mad mad, but I'm kind of mad. I mean, all, all arrows are silent. I don't know why they specify silent arrows as opposed to what. As opposed to what. I'm tempted to get this. Not that I can, because it costs 3200 and I don't, can't afford it yet, but I'm tempted. But I'm afraid that if I do that, and actually I'm pretty sure if I do that, then she will put away the beautiful, beautiful cape she has on right now, and I don't want her to do that at all. But yeah, no cloth. Look down here just to be sure, but yeah, that's black powder. So no, no cloth. All right, well. Un placer hacer negocios con usted. That's nice of you to say, even though we didn't do business. Okay, so what I want Jonah. is... I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. Okay, so I mean, we could just continue on with the story, I suppose. We'll figure out what this eagle thing is later. Yeah, shut off that. We can do the eagle thing in later. Let's go and do the current objective. Chances are we're not done with this region anyway. Let's do the story. Let's go. What could possibly go wrong? Aside from, you know, dooming the world, which we've already done. So really, I mean, things can't get much worse, right? Can you do the world faster? I don't think that's a thing. Hey. Looks a lot bigger on the outside. What'd you do? <laughs> Turn a look. Eshel and Shackshell. The twins come together. Can you actually make them come together? What is it? Laura, I... <laughs> What? <laughs> Abby said not to break anything. I'm not breaking it. I'm restoring the original. Someone was trying to hide it. It's one way of looking at it. The twins come together before following the path of the living. It's been tampered with. Like that thing in Mexico. This must lead to the next clue. Go. I'll stay here. See what else I can find. <sighs> Sounds good. Yeah, you just get in the way anyway, Jonah. Let's be honest. Also, you have to explain to the nice lady why we broke her, our, her beautiful temple. 
Thinking of breaking things. How are you gonna get in here? Okay, that's apparently oiled. Um, don't question it, it just happens. It's dwarven logic, alright? Total of dwarves, and you're gonna get trapped in there, Laura. The twins. Life and death. Oh. Alright, sure, just Jonah, back doors. I found the temple. Great. Oh. Yeah, somebody Damn. else did too. Trinity already there, trying to blast their way in. I'm gonna take a closer look. Hey Logan, welcome to the party. We've just reached the temple apparently, or we're supposed to reach the temple. Alright, so Trinity's in there, which means we're probably gonna have to fight our way through. We need to go that away. Alright. Well, not to be contrary, devs, but I don't trust you. Oh, swan dive. Alright, sure. <clears throat> Um, I pressed circle, and I specifically did not dive there, so I don't know what the hell the deal was with that. I'll grab the salvage. There you go. And I'll grab whatever the heck this is. There you go. Oh, it's full. Never mind. Bottom feeder. That's a horrible name for an achievement, for sure. Anything else down there? Um, yes, actually. That looks like gold. That might be gold. Boop. That is totally gold. I'll take gold. Not to act like a conky store and think. Oh, wait, okay. Hold on. Is that it? Nope, more of it. There you go. She didn't drown or anything. It's like she's getting better at this or something. Alright, now I can go this way. Now, developers, I feel like you aren't hiding anything from me. I mean, you totally were, but. You know, I found it, so we're all good. Operation Lone Wolf underway. Trucks en route. What's the rush all of a sudden? Dr. Dominguez is here in Peru. Is that good enough for you? Hi, Commander. Sorry, sir. Dr. Dominguez, their code word for Lara? That'd be kind of funny. Um, head up. Use for endurance mixtures, which who knows if I need that or not. Um, alright, yep, down we go. And through this thing, I guess. Oh, now we know. We have Trinity here. Those drones were unexpectedly heavy and sharp. Boat looks okay, though. I'm glad you're here. We have a problem. Jenny again? I'm on it. Oh, generator. I thought it was Jenny like a person. Alright. To search underwater. I can murder Wants this guy. To search everywhere. Obviously, we've been missing something this whole time. Do it. Okay. Ah. So, what are we doing? Are we going to put something? Yeah. Of underwater. Yeah. Man, the look on her face, man. She is a freaking murderess. I wish we knew what was going on. Okay. I can activate survival instincts. Yellow is isolated, red is hostile. Oh, man, these guys man, are super this is isolated. Station. Operation Lone Wolf underway. Drones have been launched. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? They're five miles Shit, down. I'm river. tired of covering Signal these assholes. Well, the guy just I'll left the generator. Out. The guy just left the generator. Guys, you gonna check that out? See if maybe you can find him or something? No, you don't have to do that. There's something oh. happening. Nothing really happening. We're just uh, hanging out here. Just hanging out. Ding I've ourselves. Got a search. Yeah, your guy's missing. Wonder where he went. Okay, you're gonna swim over this way, I guess. Oh, then you turned red. Why'd you turn red? Oh, because he told them to search, I guess. Loose diamond formation. I don't know what the hell that means, but it sounds impressive. Again, oh, what the? Flying. How did you find me, though? I guess I was just lurking. All right, all right. Oh, there's something glowing down here. I think. I can't, I can't, I can't do anything with it. All right, sure, what the hell. Okay, come up here. I don't think they know where I am. Oh, okay. He totally knows where I am. Well, all righty then. So much for being all stealthy and shit. Right. 
That did not work out well for me. I can get this stuff, though. Okay, back along here. So I guess I just need to get up on here and shoot these guys somehow. Yep, let's do it. Alright, technically count as a stealth kill. Technically. I'll take it. I mean, they have no idea where I am right now. And dive. They have no idea where I am. Right now, they're freaked the fuck out. Hopefully they think they have Pyronos in the war, so they don't go in with me. He said he found her again. Wait, did he? Oh, yep, he totally did. There he is up there. I can't get around that, I don't think. Let's see. If I come over here... I mean, that guy doesn't know where I am. I don't think any of them know where I am right now. Oh, okay. Yep, he almost found me. But I'm smarter than he is, so... I mean, it's not much. I'll take what I can get. Oh, okay, that was bad. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. There you go. Murder him. There you go. And dive back in the water. Dive back in the water. I did do an axe finisher. Apparently the axe finisher got me more experience than the frickin' stealth kill, which makes no sense. I mean, she must be gone, right? I mean, you threw a grenade in the water. That means she's dead, right? That's how that works. I need to get up top of there. How do we do that? She's still up there. Can't climb this. That's not a thing. That's too bad, too, because I would totally do that. If it was Assassin's Creed, I could totally do that. Okay, give me a pulse here. This guy here, I might be able to take. I knew you could handle this shit. Yeah, there we go. I can take him here. There we go. Yeah, see, Axe Finisher takes, gives you more experience. Oh, no, there we go. Plus the 20 XP. Okay, there we go. So it's the same amount of experience. Is that all you have? He does not know where I am, I think. Let's dive under here. Let's take him where we can here. Apparently he can't see through the water, so I'm good there. There's no trace of her. Yep, no trace can tell you where she went. Couldn't tell you at all. Yeah, should be able to grab him from here. There we go. Also stealth. There we go. Oh, there we go. We got a skill point. Nice. Okay, top side. Was it as stealthy as I wanted it to be? No, of course not. Never is. But I think that's all of them. It's up top. So, did I not kill... Okay, apparently I didn't take his stuff. She still has her bow out, so there must be other people here. I just don't see them. I'm going to just have to look down the bottom. Mostly that is health stuff, which I don't care about. But she's still acting like there's people here. I'm trying to duck behind cover and all their stuff, so... Hmm. I'm missing something? Oh, okay. Like this stuff over here. Let's grab this. Manifesto. That's entertaining. When the Lord gave his covenant to Noah, saying never again will he destroy this world, it can be interpreted as he has decided humanity has learned their lesson. But have we? There is also a different interpretation to be made, and that is that he has given the agency of destruction to mankind itself. We are responsible for every living soul and they are now tarnished and besot. It has been 4,000 years since the world saw purity, and we aim to end that. We will be the architects of the new world. We will pave the street to heaven for all. We will usher an end to this sinful, reprehensible world. Why do the zealots always go for the freaking Old Testament? Why do they do that? The New Testament was written... Not necessarily to wash over the old, but definitely to not necessarily replace it. I mean, there are parts of it that should be, I mean, Jesus came, came in to basically rewrite a new covenant. That's what he was there for. So to, to work back on like Noah's covenant, first of all, Noah's covenant was overwritten by Moses. All right. I mean, read the old Testament in order for fuck's sake. 
Noah was Noah was back in Genesis. Moses was later. That covenant during the Exodus was made to the entire twelve tribes of the Jewish kingdom, and then Jesus came in about what a thousand, two thousand years later. I forgot what the exact timeline is. Four thousand years later, I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, four thousand years later. That's right. Four thousand years later, and. So wait a minute, it's been 4,000 years since the world saw purity? No, 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 no. That would say, that would mean that Noah was 2000 BC? I thought that was the date given for Exodus. I guess that depends on your, on your biblical scholars. It's been a long time since I was in Catholic school, but as a student at Catholic school, trust me, I think he's got the timing wrong. Not only that, he's got the scripture wrong, so the fuck, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. I'm always talking about the Bible here, Logan. Just always talking, muttering about myself to this guy's freaking manifesto. Doesn't make any damn sense. Just upsets me when they don't get any of the actual stuff right. Oh yeah, that's full up. I'm full up on hell. Why are you acting like there's people here, Lara? Because people will probably bright past that marker. All right, nice and quiet. Nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, really, Jonah? Yeah. Busy right there's now. a Trinity base here. <laughs> um, I suppose should I do I need to touch the I don't think I need to touch the bonfire, right? This isn't freaking Dark Souls. I don't think we need to do that. I was gonna go grab the document. Croft report. Alright, let's listen to what the they have to say. Younger Croft is more active and less cerebral than her father was. <laughs> oh although burn. intelligent, she is less focused on the meaning and history of the artifacts she seeks. And more prone to risk taking. That's probably true. With no children or family of her own, she is free to pursue her targets almost to the point of obsession. Also true. Although this can make her appear impulsive or unpredictable at times, we believe her drive and the balance of her personality will make her easier to influence with the promise of greater challenge and more likely to deliver results. Any information she might have that Richard Croft withheld from Trinity would simply be a bonus. We recommend her as a strong target for recruiting. Yeah, good luck with that. Definitely gonna grab that wood. Thank you very much. Alright, nice and quiet here, Lara. Nice and quiet. Grab what you can. I'm expecting a bunch of people to just show up. No? Nobody? Give me a pulse. Items everywhere. Any idea why we're sealing everything up? Because Commander Wark said to hold the perimeter. No one goes in or out. I know that, smartass. But you know why? That's above my pay grade. When the okay, we do need the mud here, patches. Maybe they'll be able to tell us something. Oh, we got some cloth. All right, let's grab the mud. Muddy yourself up, Laura. Looks like we've got to hide. And I don't know where. Oh, document first. Site scrubbed. All right. After action report. Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Search site. Mazaruni River, Guyana. 5.816587-59.468158. Discovered evidence of Maya migration. Upon subsequent investigation, site deemed a dead end. Actions taken. Site flooded by redirecting river. Locals recruited for labor eliminated. All trace of presence scrubbed. Other. Kick up at nearby village. Lethal response necessary. Area isolated. Site flooded. Appears natural. South American rivers rising due to climate change story seeded in media. Okay, that was another search site, though. That has nothing to do with the flash flood we experienced, though. I thought maybe it would be, but that's a completely different site. Okay, black powder. Whatever good that does. 
Okay, so now that we're muddy, we should be able to hide All and units, this is Commander Rourke. Have you achieved lockdown? Hide, Laura. There we we're go. almost there. All access points are covered, and most of the barricades are finished. Almost isn't good enough. Secure the perimeter now, and make damn sure it's locked tight. Aye, sir. Uh, if I could ask, sir, uh, what's going on? Recon team is en route. Work out. That's one way to keep him quiet. Alright, that guy is isolated. So we can just take him here. There we go. Anybody else? The they might have heard him drop. If they hear him drop, that's okay. If they see him, see his body, I'm okay with that too. Move along this side and see. We just went down and didn't come up. Don't see anybody. All right, let's go into the tunnel. Pulse me. That guy's red. The sight lines are shit. Okay, up against this wall. Yeah, he's red. He's talking to somebody else. I need a distraction. I don't understand how this could have happened. Um, distraction. Might be able to just shoot at their feet or something. What was that? You hear that? You did Take hear that. Look. Okay, great. We're taking isolated yet? Up. Oh, okay. Uh, he did see the body. On the upside, if he comes over here, oh, shit. he did. Nope. Oh, okay, I should not have done that though, because now this guy is in here. Still count as a stealth kill, though. You're just one person. What can you do? Well, if you walk over here. Like this. That's what I can do. There you go. Still counters a self kill, even though he knew I was there and walked towards me. What a maroon. Okay, well, we got him. So, take your stuff. Thank you very much. Anything else around here? Um, not even anything topside. That's weird. Oh, you tell me there's nothing up here at all? There's nothing up here at all. Okay. That's super strange. She's still crouching unless there's some people here. There probably is. I can't tell if there's anything else in the area. Such so places to hide, which is good. Don't get me wrong. Places to hide are good, but... Yeah, let's just keep going to the objective marker, I suppose. Okay. The perimeter's locked down. Here All we, we have to do is wait for the recon team. Doesn't it seem a little weird to you? There was a problem underground, but we're fortifying ourselves from a threat from overland. Seems pretty standard. If something did go wrong, we should assume it could be anything. We've got the temple covered, too. I don't know, man. It still feels like we went from an amber alert in the known area to a red alert all over the place. We've been overreacting to things ever since that storm hit. Oh, they're going to totally see me. All right, never mind. I thought I was going to be able to do something here, but... Well, if I do it quickly... There you go. That was actually Those were very good quick. men. Are they are good men? Okay, it's gonna be tough getting anything done here. Can I craft some what do you weapons think happened here? Down there, we're securing the site. Obviously, somebody thinks they got attacked. By what? There's nothing down there. You sure? We were searching for something. Maybe they found it, and it wasn't what we thought. How am I going to do this? I don't see anything good to explode or anything. I've just got to distract these guys. Alright, I might be able to pin... Yeah, I might be able to hit this guy over here. Just need to wait for... I need to just bounce up and down, I guess. I do that and set it up. And with it set, then when he goes over there, I can hit him again. That'll be at least two of them down. Then we can figure out what to do with the other two. I must be going crazy. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Nice. Done and done. All right. The recon I team will figure this out. Could take out the third guy the same way. I mean, he won't know where it came from exactly, so it might be worth doing. He'll be back soon. Probably. Oh, no. Okay. Just had to wait for it. I don't know why they're both red. Something to find. Pulse me again. 
I don't, no, it's still red. Oh, there we go. Ready to engage. Nope, okay. How would you guys spot me, though? That was weird. Both red very briefly for a second. Man down! Fucking bastards. Keep within a couple of yards of each other. Okay, so he's white. Find out what's going on. Yeah. He was in white, not red, so they got alerted. Copy that. It's on. Okay, and we just need to be careful they don't get into the red. That's promising. Form up. Ready to engage. All right, let's do it. I've got to take him. He was gonna find me anyway. There we go. He was out too. That was quick. So I'll take your stuff there. Take your stuff there. And there was one more dude right over here. And she's acting like there's nobody else in the area. So I'll trust her. Get some oil. Because why the hell not? Jonah. Commander Walk is here in Peru. He ordered Trinity to lock down a dig site below an old oil well. You going to check it out? Yeah, I'll see what they found. Rourke was there in Cozumel when Dominguez took the dagger. They must have figured out the next step to the hidden city. And that's a big assumption. I mean, they could have just thought they did and totally messed it up, but I suppose it's possible. I mean, they were definitely using explosives up for something, though. So I guess it'd be wishful thinking to think otherwise. Oh, all right, we're just going to drop to our deaths. What the hell? Okay, they want us to drop. Let's drop. <laughs> okay, so how did she not die? That hurt her for sure. She's not dead. Can't move the helmet, huh? Seems like it's a helmet kind of area. Just saying. There's been a bloodbath here. What happened? Well, typical Trinity work, right? They, uh... Once they get all the work done they want, they kill the workforce. Oh, cloth. Okay, now we might have enough cloth to have the boots I want. Up oh, there's an uh, item over there. Nothing up top. All right, let's go. Let's see what this says. Let's see what we got. Temple of Life. Let's go. Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Possible entry point located for temple outside of Kwakiaku. Excavation equipment en route. What kind of excavation equipment? Are we talking about like land movers, explosives, nuclear devices? What are we talking about? Okay, we found a document and apparently I passed one. And I passed a treasure chest. Oh, it's in that big lake we dropped into. I knew the guys were hiding something from me. Shoot. Well, we can always go back, right? Yeah, looks like we came in over here. We need to go, like, all the way back through. We could do that. Oh, no, we can't do that now. We just dropped into a giant pit. There's no way up out of this pit. The only way back is to teleport back to the town. Back to the town and go back through the same way. Damn. I guess, you know, there was a bonfire around here somewhere. We can drop here, wherever the hell that was. Yeah, because there was a bonfire. Okay, never mind. So we'll need to do that, but I don't worry about it yet. Nothing around here, right? Pulse me? There you go. Alright, we're good. Nice and careful. You never know what kind of traps there are. Now, Granite Trinity was here first. As evidenced by the dead bodies. Something happened down here. Some rats, too. I don't think the rats would be useful at all. I guess we're crawling through. All right, let's crawl. Lots of crawling all over the place. Lots of fire all over the place, too. Like, where's the smoke going? This can't be healthy to breathe. Okay, looks like there's a artifact over here. This will at least teach me some language. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, did get burned. All right. I was wondering about that. Okay, so what story do you have to tell me of this one? A little bit of knowledge. Not very much, though. From death to life, new moon to full, this temple serves as guardian to the silver box. Okay. That's good to know. 
Um, so do I jump over this? Yeah, it's probably a better option. All right, there we go. Well, I mean, the silver box is theoretically here. I suppose it's just going to be that easy, though. Trinity doesn't already have it. They might. Jonah, I made it inside the temple. I think we found something here, too. Some numbers. I'm going to clear it off. Watch it be coordinates in a Mayan system. It's actually the real location of the temple. This one's the fake temple. The fake box versus the real box, something like that. Okay, nice and easy. That's a lake of fire. Why is there a lake of fire? Like a literal fire lake. It's weird. Find a way to open the gate. All right, we can do that. Um, the numbers on the pillars look like the first half of dates. Ishal on the left, Shakshal on the right. I'm sure that means something to somebody, but I don't know exactly what that means. Um, is that good or bad? Like, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be going for here. Although, it did lower. Might be able to open these doors. Okay. So we just need to rotate this until... Oh. Okay. So, that's what happened, is it opened up a path. So, what do you got, Laura? Okay, so Trinity didn't do this? Because this is, looks like it's been totally reset. Alright, so three... Well, okay. I still don't know how to read this. Three with the line under it, I think means 13. And then three cubes, and then... All right, so that tells you the possible coordinates there, but let me look at the other side. And see what this says. And open up this door and see what you say. If Trinity didn't do this, why is it all on fire? They try to just blast their way in. Okay, well that's totally different though. Oh, okay. Steady now. Guess it is, you know, a couple thousand years old. Makes kind of sense. Okay, so now have what? to match the symbols. Yeah, but now there's three on either side, so thirteen, then three. That says it's 13 and then 2. I mean, I guess the other one could have been rubbed off. That says 14 and then 1 and then blank and then underscore, which is 10. Huh. All right, so I mean, if this only works with the bottom one, then I need this to be three. All right? Think so. All right. And then this one should be two. It's not that one. This one, I think. I mean, that's not quite right. Technically, it'd be that, but it's definitely not that one. All right. Um, clearly, that's not correct. Yeah, it's the 14, 1, 3, and then 3, 1, 1. That's what that says to do. Oh, no, there we go. Have to match the symbols. And then do this side. Yeah, Trinity apparently didn't solve this. Okay. Another door. Another door. There must be more to this. Okay, well now we have two skill Damn, points. I should have known. 
Oh, of course. Okay. Too close. So that wasn't it. Oh, but now there's a fourth piece. Okay. But that's that's all right because this one we want to be three, right? We want to be the third one. Let's move this over here. There you go. And the other one is blank and then line. The trouble is I can't get it blank, but I can make it line. I think. Um, no, I can't. No, there it is. There's the line. Okay. Maybe a blank means I don't care. Let's hope so. Because I can't make it blank otherwise. Yeah, I mean, it almost matches, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. All right. Let's find out. Yep, that worked. Okay, hey, good. Jonah, any progress? Uh, there's an incomplete date and a depiction of Shuck Shell. I have two dates here and E Shell. I think I've seen the date on the left somewhere. The photo from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. Let's examine that artifact. In the Maya long count calendar, all dates have five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13, but what if it's really an eight? That's a 2,000 year difference, and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. Okay, so I can zoom in and look at it. Looking at the back's not going to help me at all. Examine to find hidden information. I'm trying. I'm trying. The last number on the left pillar is zero. Last number on the left pillar is zero. The last number of the left pillar should be a zero. I didn't think Mayans had a zero in their numeral. I, yeah, I didn't think they had a zero. But, so zero would be... Oh, that, probably. Right? Okay, Jonah. What's the final number for Shack Shell? A line across with two dots on top of it. Seven, I think. Thanks. Oh, so the line means five. Okay. So there we go. There we go. That should work. Hopefully. Otherwise, we got a long way to run back. But it's only a run. I mean, she'll be... It's not a lethal trap. There we go. Well, Trinity, you have egg in your face now, don't That's you? It. Of course, I just solved the puzzle for Trinity, in which case, whoops. Okay, well, very pretty in here. Anything else? In oh, hello. Totally want to do that. What story you have to tell me today? Not too much there, but got a suicide. Suicide was not considered forbidden by the Maya. In fact, it was considered an honorable alternative to living. Because of this, by committing suicide, you could bypass the underworld and go straight to paradise, where other noble deaths included the sacrificed, those who died in battle or childbirth, and those who died playing ball. The suicide's escort on the journey to paradise would be this goddess, Ishtab, also called Rope Woman. She was the goddess of suicides, especially those who hanged themselves and manifested as a rotting corpse hanging from a noose. Okay, well, you know, different cultures, different, uh, different ideas of what's good and what's bad. Totally taking this. Just go ahead and pick that right up. There you go. And what story did this tell? Anything? Yeah, there we go. Balam is the Maya word for jaguar. The Maya idolized jaguars for their majestic beauty and dangerous grace. Villagers would have four akantoons, idols which they placed at each corner of the village. At night, five Balams, spirit jaguar guardians, would come to the village. One Balam would station itself at each corner, next to an akantoon, while the fifth and smallest Balam would coordinate their protection efforts against evil demons and spirits. That's cool. All right, so we're just going to grab this thing. I'm assuming there is, in fact, a silver box here. Jonah. Hey, Lara. It's Abby. 
Oh, hey, Abby. I found a mural. It seems to depict some kind of journey. Entering through a jaguar mouth follows a serpent toward a silver eye. Uh-huh. On the way, there's a spider and an eagle that rises toward a temple. Okay, I don't know about most of that, but the jaguar mouth is back this way. Really? Yeah. Cat sculpture, big teeth. Oh, here. He's back. Laura, you okay? Yeah, I'm heading back. Good. I think you're gonna like this. Not gonna tell her what it is, but okay, sure. This describes something nearby. Two guardians have fangs. Two guardians have feet. One guardian has both to better protect me. Okay. But it doesn't actually tell me what that is. Two guardians have fang, two guardians have feet. One guardian has both to better protect. So, something about a jaguar guardian, perhaps? I mean, so we have a guardian there. I mean, the guardian with fangs and feet would be this guy, right? Well, there'd be a fifth guardian, though, right? There's only three in here. Let's go down and see what else we got. Because it just seems like that would be... Be about maybe this room? No, this room doesn't seem right for that either. We can pulse, but I don't see anything in here. And we just went into a mouth, right? Is that what this is? Yeah, it's a big old mouth right here. Two guardians have feet. Two guardians have fangs. One has both to protect me. I mean, the feet would be... I mean, the eagle has feet for sure. He does too. He does not have feet. He just has fangs. We've only seen three guardians. We should see a total of five in order to know what it's talking about. So maybe further in? Okay, or further out as this may go. Hmm, interesting. That looks like there's somebody actually there. Very convincing. Um, did you learn anything? Was it the story, though? What's the story there, Lara? There we go. While on a branch, use rope arrow to kill and string up an enemy. Wow. Okay. That's awesome and horrifying all at once. And with that, that'll do it for this episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.